Welcome to tutorial 1 of AutoCAD 2020. Today I will be showing you how to make this nameplate. I will go slowly and show you every single step that I take. Let's get started. We're going to start off by starting a new drawing. Next, switch to home view. Use the um, scroll wheel and I press it down to move this. We're going to make a rectangle. Type in a rectangle. Press enter. The starting point we're going to do is 0, comma, 0. For the length in this, for this rectangle, we're going to make it 10 inches. Press comma then 5 inches, so length and width. Next, go on to the top view. Now that we're on the top view, we're going to create the text box. Do not use text like this. We're going to use M text. Click on it. Let's say we're just going to put it here, start here, and make the box big enough. We're going to type in your name. Let's type in our name. For this tutorial, I'll use my name, of course. Highlight the name. You see up here in the ribbon, you have all these customization options. Yeah, so let's start off by changing the font. Let's use Century, or you can choose any font you want. I'm going to change the by layer color to red. Next, we're going to increase the size of this. Let's do 1.0000. Yeah, that's big enough. Let's center it. Center. Click off of it. We're going to try send, making sure this is centered. Let's see. You could move it like this. Type in move and click the text. Click on the text and type in txt to m text. Now click on it, type in txt exp or text explode basically. We're going to explode it one more time. Highlight your name, each piece. Now type in explode. Okay, so it actually broke it up into pieces. Now we're going to remove each one of these extra lines in order for the next part of this nameplate to work. Let's continue selecting until we select all of them. The good thing is you can just select them all instead of having to do one by one. Now that we've selected all of them, all the extra pieces, just press delete. Just make sure you didn't cut the wrong pieces out. That's fine. Now highlight this whole, all the text and type in 
region, press enter, highlight it again, click enter, there you go, all the letters are back together, I mean if you do it and you notice that there are some pieces not connected, you may have to redo the previous step. Let's go back to home view. There we go. We're going to extrude this right here, the rectangle. Let's make it, let's say 0 0.5 inches or half an inch. Next, we're going to highlight this text, change the bilayer back to red. And we're going to type in extrude. Let's go back to home view. We're going to make the same height as the rectangle. Let's put 0 0.5. Okay, there we go. Next, let's change the current view from 2D wireframe to conceptual. Here we are. Let's go to top view. Now select each one of these letters carefully. I would recommend going underneath it. Makes it easier some usually. If you accidentally select the rectangle, click shift, I mean hold shift down and click the rectangle again. It'll unselect it or deselect. Oops. There we go, it's selected. Let's go back to home view. In order to cut out the letters, we're going to type in subtract. There we go. Now, since we're going to cut these letters out of the rectangle, click the rectangle first, click enter. Next, select the letters again. Now, I'll go back to home view, click enter. Now, if you go in the top view, you'll notice they're cut out. That's how you cut the letters out of the plate of the rectangle. Or that's how you cut something out from, cut one object out from another object. Now we're going to flat the edges or curve the edges. So they aren't going to be 90 degrees at degree angles anymore. Let's start by typing in flat. Or you can click on it in this menu up here. In the ribbon. Let's start by clicking on this edge. Now it's going to want two points. Click on the bottom point and on the top point. Next, select the other edges. Click enter and there you go, they're curved. We've created the nameplate we're going to create. And that's pretty much all we're doing to the nameplate for today. Hopefully it was useful to you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.